Hi, you are watching Kolsky Drones. Welcome back. Today we're going to have a quick look at the DJI Inspire 1, my all-time favourite drone. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So today we've got the DJI Inspire 1. So I say on my channel a lot that my favourite drone is the Mavic Pro. Well, it kind of is and kind of isn't. It's my favourite everyday drone. This is my favourite drone. So, it's a beast, so you can't fly this everywhere, you can't take this everywhere with you, but it is my favourite drone. So, this is what I have in the pack, I don't know if you can see it properly here, so I've got the Inspire itself, I've got three batteries, I've got the battery warmer, because in the cold, in the winter, you need one of these things. So this battery plugs in there like that, if you turn the battery on, it'll start self-heating itself, so it uses its power from its battery to warm itself up, you have to hold the button down. So I have three batteries in mine, I have the heater, I have the camera obviously, I also have a four-way charger because of the three batteries and this is what you get in the box. So what I'm going to do is rather than waste too much time taking it out of the box and setting it up, I'm going to get it out of the box, I'm going to turn everything on and then I'll show you how it works. Okay we've got it all set up as you can see, the camera's now on, I'll show you how the camera comes off later, the camera's on the controller's set up and the screen's running. This runs on DJI Go 3, well it's not called 3, it's just called DJI Go. So you've got DJI Go and you've got DJI P4, so it's after Phantom 4. This obviously runs on the version before. So, let's just go through the screen. You'll have seen this a million times, it's very similar, it's got slightly less features, but it's very similar. The controller is the same controller as a Phantom 4. So you can adjust your gimbal up and down. I don't really want me in a shot, do you? So you can adjust your gimbal up and down there. You can adjust your flight modes here. You've got take off and land on here. There are your modes. It doesn't have all the modes you have like on uh, Mavic Air. This is a photography drone. So that's purely what it is. It's not for follow me, it's not for anything like that. The main thing I like about this is I can fly this absolutely flat out and still get the same picture quality because it, it isn't affected as the Mavic Air and the, Fa and the Mavic Pro and the Phantom 4 are by the fact of moving at speed because of the size of this thing it can handle it so I can fly this at 30 miles an hour and still get the footage I want rather than having to fly it slow to get the footage but it's massive. The biggest advantage of that thing is the thing is huge. So as you can see it weighs a lot as well. Mine's a little bit different than the standard one, so I have the FPV camera kit. So I have an FPV camera on there, and I have the unit on the back. I have my antenna disconnected because it isn't connected up at the minute. I do it at the back, and in here the 2S battery that powers it. And that's purely for the fact is I only have one controller, so when I'm flying it, I can, and I'm flying with a camera facing the other way, I can still see what I'm looking through because I'll use my, I use my phone with the OTG equipment and then I can look at what I'm flying and I can still get shots from the back and sides and fly forward. M major advantage for me, and not a bad price, I think it's about 90 quid for this kit. I got it at the same time as I got the drone, but it makes a big difference. So mine's got the self tightening props, some of them don't. So you can see some are white and some are black. So the white ones go on the one with a little white pip on, if you can see that there. And they simply push over the top, spin it in. Really, really nice to get on and off. So just click and lock. And then push down to get it off. So like I said before, the main advantage for me is this is the thing that I can fly at speed. Because of its mass, because it is so big. It's extremely stable and it's really nice to fly. I have the X3 camera on, so I don't have the X5 camera because for me the X3 is good enough. You'll see from the footage I'll put at the end how sharp it is. And when I filmed that video, I was probably flying at 35, 40 miles. I was virtually maxing out the speed. It was a very little wind day, a couple of miles an hour, and you can see how still great the picture looks even at speed. And that's to me why I like it. The problem I've got is I don't fly it enough because of the size of it. It is massive. And it's a big job to take it in and out of its box, set everything up, but it's a brilliant camera. So if, if I want to get some shot that I want, a shot that it's going to be something that I've got time to take, and it might be that it's a window, a bit of a distance away, 
I'm going to use this because the camera quality is fantastic on it and the fact that it's going to get there quick and it is ridiculously stable in wind. It doesn't mind the wind, it just cuts through it. I have no issues with transmission range, I've no issue with range. I've had this up to two kilometres away, I've never lost a signal, nothing loses on it, it works exactly as it should. You get the battery voltage on the top, which is essential on this thing. It's got obviously all the other things returned to home, satellite signals, what mode you're in, but it's much simplified than the newer ones for P4. You can still adjust everything in here, and obviously you can adjust your flight modes and your settings and what it comes back at. So it's 720 FPS and I have it at 60 so that's what it's coming back to me at. So the screen display is 720, uh, and the filming mode, let's put it onto video. So I'm filming, the last time I used this I must have filmed in 4K30, I don't think you can see that, sorry I didn't have that in front of the camera. So 4K30, you can adjust lots of things, so exposure is also a lot. You can just do a lot of things with this, but not as much as you can on the newer stuff, but that doesn't bother me in the slightest. I didn't buy it for that, I, buy, I bought it for flying as a camera drone, and that's what this thing is. It's a dedicated camera drone, it's not a toy. So let me see if I can just show you the legs going up and down. So these legs go up and down themselves when it's in the air, but let's see if I can make it. You can toggle these switch backwards and forwards. It might not do it inside, just hang on. No, it's not going to do it inside. And I think I've just caught the power button. So let me just show you the camera. Flip power down. So the camera on this is totally upgradable. So if you see underneath here, you've got this lock ring, twist the lock ring to unlock it and the camera pulls out. So the camera doesn't come on the drone, the camera stays in the box and this is the X3. You can get an X5 and I don't know what the next model up and obviously that's got a bigger sensor in. The X5 will have a bigger sensor and so on and so forth. Um, but for me this has been absolutely fine. It's a wonderful drone to fly but it's not everybody's cup of tea and I know that because of its size. I wanted to do a quick it's not a review, it's just to tell you what I think of it in a quick overview. I really do like the drone. I, I, I have thought about selling it from time to time, but it, for what you get for it second hand, it'd be pointless. So I'm just going to enjoy it. If you're after a camera drone, and you're not bothered about size, and you're not bothered about space, and taking a little bit of time to set up, and you want to get really good shots, you can pick these up. I've just looked this morning, there's a couple for sale on eBay for 700 quid with a couple of batteries. Which is an absolute gift considering it's probably about two and a half thousand when it came out. So yeah, you're getting a bit of all the technology, but trust me, the thing flies incredibly well. The control is fantastic, the range is fantastic, the app's fantastic, it just all works as it should. In fact the app's probably better than the P4 app because it doesn't get messed with as much. So I've never had issues with it. So that's enough for me waffling. Thanks ever so much for watching. I'm gonna put some video footage on of it flying. You can see how stable the, it looks through the camera and you, you can see that I was flying quick at this time and how good the picture quality is. I think it's amazing. So thanks again for watching. Have a fantastic day.
thanks very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell thanks for watching